Many times fruit vendors and farmers harvest premature fruits to avail the early market's advantage. Such fruits fail to ripen uniformly under normal conditions, hence the forced use of the harmful chemical calcium carbide comes up posing health and environmental risk. We arrive at Riru Town in Kiambu County, where citizens who are busy running their fruits and vegetable selling businesses. We find David Waweru, who is one of the fruit vendors, and he urges that fruit sellers should sell fruits free from the harmful chemical because it's harmful to the human health. <laughs> David tells why he thinks it's wrong to use the chemical in fruits and advises consumers on why they should not buy fruits that have been exposed with the sweet poison. Kuna tofauti ya ya hii mewekwa, hii me, hajawekwa, ukiangalia ngozi yake, si ngumu na si green. Lakini hii ingine hii meiva, kukata hivi, ikatoka kitu dani. Hiyo diyo tofauti ya hile mzuri na hile mbaya. Next to David is Susan Goiri, who welcomed us warmly to share more about the goodness of selling fruits that are free from calcium carbide. Na usaga matuda. Ile kitu nataka kusema watu wasiwe wasiwe wakiusa ile matunda imewekwa ni ni chemical Susan later on gives ideas on how traders can store and ripe fruits instead of using the chemical and also advises people to be trustworthy in their fruit selling businesses as this is a virtue Sasa wa kama ni matunda kama ni madisi ikitolewa kwa saba wawe wakiweka kwa nini pahali mtu wanaweka gata kama ni kwa cotton wanaweka vizuri na inaifa yoyenyewe ndio ya kusuia nini hii maugojwa hii maugojwa iko na uchugu sana mtu anarara hospitali na masida masida wawachana na hiyo kabisa ndio hata mungu awabariki here we meet Mary Njori, who says that she has been in the business for 20 years. Mary gives some ideas on how to detect fruits with calcium carbide and gives a good advice to the consumers. Na niwambie customer, wakati muna ponunua viyakura saidi ya madisi siku hizi mekuja ya madawa, muwe mkiangalia hile dizi, mwisho yake inakuwaga green, juu ni yerish, Lastly, we went to the Clay City Medical Center in Kasarani, which has an eye-catching motto and alluring interiors, and came across a medical scientist by the name Dr. Moses Kahure, who took us through the process in which calcium carbide turns to the acetylene gas. Uh, remember, calcium carbide is a chemical compound. When it gets exposed to moisture, it releases a gas called acetylene gas. This acetylene gas, is, it acts like uh, ethylene. Ethylene is the one responsible for ripening of fruits, natural ripening of fruits. So when uh, the acetylene gas is, is, is produced, uh, it accelerates the ripening of the fruits and whereby you uh, will find the fruits ripens at a faster rate than it's supposed to. According to Dr. Moses, calcium carbide is a chemical compound containing carcinogenic materials like arsenic and phosphorus, which are hazardous when they get into the human body and can cause cancer, whereby the chemical affects the normal growth of the cells, making them malignant. These are carcinogenic materials, whereby when they get into a normal cell, it can change the morphology of a cell and uh, cause the cell to become malignant, thereby causing cancer. The harmful chemical also causes hypoxia, whereby there is deficiency in the supply of oxygen in the tissues. It causes cerebral edema, whereby the brain swells. And how does it affect the alimentary canal? The uh, person exposed to calcium carbide uh, also vomits, and uh, he can even diarrhea with or without blood. How can a consumer differentiate fruits exposed with carbide from those that are free from carbide?
Uh, one, uh, we have uh, different methods. Uh, one method being including floating method. You see, uh, an, an artificially ripened uh, fruit, uh, the one that is exposed with, uh, to calcium carbide, it floats on water. Uh, and like uh, in normal circumstances, it's a fruit when you expose it, when you drop it into a bucket of water, it's supposed to sink. Because now of these chemicals, they really become, uh, the fruit become less denser, and that's why you find that it flows in water. And also, remember the gas produced by calcium carbide when exposed to moisture, that is uh, acetylene gas, it's very, very flammable. It's a flammable gas, in that uh, if you take a matchstick and then expose the, the, the matchstick at, at the outer surface of the fruit, the fruit even can start even sparkling, and uh, it can also even get into flame. The groups of people that are at a high risk of the calcium carbide exposure are people living in urban centers, pregnant women, young children, people infected with HIV AIDS. During this festive season, consumers are advised by Dr. Moses to visit a health facility if they feel that they are exposed to the chemical, to also wash fruits in running water before consuming, and lastly, to learn how to detect the fruits before buying. Finally, Dr. Moses had a message to the government concerning this health hazard. in illegal in Kenya. So for those traders when you now say, wanajua it's an illegal nini, as in it's an illegal business. Calcium carbide has negative effects such as memory loss, ulceration on the skin, dizziness, and worst of all being infected by the irredeemable cancer. Let's come out and watch what we eat. It is very important if we apply basic things like letting the fruits ripe naturally than to force them to ripe artificially. Reporting for KUTV, I'm Naomi Okere.